Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Farmer Jolly and this is our Let's Play series on Court Farm. You join us uh, where we left off in the last episode. We're just cleaning the Massey tractor and the silage trailer. Um, been having a bit of a play off screen with the Follow Me mod again. Um, I think I might have a reason as to why I couldn't get it to uh, work properly last time. So we're going to have a quick look at the contracts and see, I know there's a couple of forage contracts there. There's nothing that we need to do on our land yet. Um, right, so let's have a quick look. There it is. So we could do a baling contract, but I think we're going to take out another forage contract and see if what I've been trialing does work. So there's three that are quite highly paid. We've got field 14, uh, field 45, and field 100. So let's have a quick look. This one is 8.12 acres, 7.16, and 9.31. Let's have a look. Where's field 14 in relation to... We've not been down this, this way before. Right. I think we'll go for field 14, and we will see if we can get this to work. So we need to borrow the equipment because we don't have them anymore. So, we'll jump over to them, here we go. Right, we've just got both the forage harvester and the tractor to the fields. What we're going to try, we are gonna to have to have the tractor in the uh, crop uh, unfortunately, but I believe if I increase this to about, I'll try here, <clears throat> so we will try that. Hopefully, zoom out a little bit. Hopefully, this is going to work. The corners, I'm not sure how they're going to work. But, so far, so good. It might just be this headland is a little bit tricky. Yeah, so this headland is going to be a bit, tri bit on the tricky side. But not to worry, all we'll do is we will just keep repositioning the worker. And then once we've got um, once we've got the headlands done, we will reset the worker up on the correct side, or on the opposite side I should say, I think the tractor needs to be behind to start off, yep, so, but I think the issue that we were having, I think the harvester, sorry, the tractor that was following me was seeing the header of the harvester or anything that was in the trees, or the bushes, sorry, and thinking there was an issue, and so it was stopping. Whereas by having the tractor on the opposite side, the side that's clear, we seem to be doing all right. So, I will put this into a time lapse. Like I say, it's gonna take a bit of, uh, bit of finesse 
when we uh, come to changing corners. But once the first headland's done, we shouldn't be too bad. Right, I'll put this into a time lapse and I will see you once we've got the headlands done. Well, we've just done one headland and that worked a lot better than the last time I tried that. But the trailer has currently got 95% full. So we're going to go and unload it quickly and come back. I don't think there's any point really in starting another headland when the trailer's nearly full. Just have a quick look as to where we've got to take the this silage. There we go. So, garden centre. We will mark that on the map if it isn't already. I think it's quite a way away. Yes, it's up here. to work out the best possible route because we can't go that way because that's all blocked uh, if we owned the farmland then we could uh, but as we don't we are unable to go that way I think the best route for us is going to be to go up here and then that way so We'll jump back into the time lapse and we will crack on with this field. Um, well, I say that. We will empty. <laughs> Firstly, we will go and get this trailer emptied. And then, once we're back at the field, we will make a start on getting the rest of the field done. So I will see you once we have got to the cell point. I will see you very soon.
Right, we've just unloaded that trailer at the sell point and despite it not being a full trailer we've done 21% of the contract and delivered, I think it was about 18% uh, that's required so it's looking like it's going to be about 5 to 6 full trailer loads so another 4 5 trailer trailers um, it does take quite a bit of time to get to the sale point because it's at the other end of the map but not to worry so we will race back to the fields and then we're going to set the follow me up but to run on the other side of the combine so that the combine doesn't get impeded by the tractor when turning hopefully that will work and if it does it means that I was very silly in the last episode and should have realized that there's a collision on the header which was stopping the follow me from working so hopefully that is the case as it seemed to work absolutely more floating deer um, so hopefully that is the case of saying that um, I just hadn't accounted for the collision or collisions so if you're ever in that position and you can't work out why maybe just try moving the doing what I should have done and move the tractor over a bit more to clear the header and you might find that that works fine but we will carry on putting that to the test while we do this field where well, yeah, I say it takes ages to get there we're nearly back it felt like it took a lot longer to um, to do this drive on the way there than it did on the way back uh, we're still quite a way away though but I will see you once we're back at the field do apologize for all of that you just saw me do all of the get everything set up and I was explaining what what went wrong uh, and I didn't realize my microphone was muted um, so I will leave that in so you can see what I was doing but if I just explain it if I jump over into the New Holland as you can see we've got it set to 7.5 to the left and 4 ahead of the forage harvester and that seems to be working so I was just saying which no one will ever hear because the mic was muted it's just saying that hopefully that was the issue with the last contract we did um, that hopefully the tractor just wasn't positioned far enough over and that was seeing potential collisions and therefore stopping so hopefully this has fixed that issue I say fixed that issue, there wasn't an issue to, that needed to be fixed it was my incompetence that needed to be fixed um, but it, it appears to all be working properly this will be a good test 
Oh, look at that. There we go. So yeah, if you're ever having an issue where you can't, you want to use the follow me mod and you're struggling to get the um, tractor and the combine working together properly, it could be like I did and you're not, the tractor's not positioned far enough over. Um, I was also just saying that by being able to actually utilize this means we can take out more forage contracts in the future and look at getting our own equipment again even though we've just got rid of our equipment we will get new equipment at some point in the future not anytime soon because uh, it's very expensive and saying we'd probably look at trying to get bigger equipment rather than the smallest one that we had got but this appears to be working really nicely so I will put this into a time lapse and I will see, we'll, we'll crack on with the field and I'll see you when we're nearly done. Just wondering, because we've obviously got a silage trailer over at this yard. I'm just wondering if I can set this worker to where's garden center? Garden center. We'll say looping, so that hopefully he comes back. Oh, no, he won't. Let's just try that. Hopefully, this worker will take this trailer over to the garden centre and unload it for us. I'll just sit with him while uh, they get out of this area. Don't you dare unload there. Thank you. And, yeah, if he... If they can get onto the main road, okay. Then I will keep an eye, a rough eye on them on the uh, mini map. I'll probably put that to the larger setting so that I can see them. But we'll probably jump into the fast track. Um, no, we'll keep them. The Massey's already connect, hooked up to the trailer. You're gonna make that, okay? That was an interesting way of doing that, but fair enough, it worked. Yeah, so we're gonna give that a go. We will, <coughs> excuse me. We'll uh, we'll leave this worker up delivering this trailer load, and we'll jump into the Massey and see. Hopefully. We can constantly have one trailer going and just driving itself to the store. That might speed us up a little bit. So let's just make the map a little bit bigger and we can keep an eye on that tractor. I just need to make sure I don't drive into the river again. I've done that too many times to, to count. Let's not adds to that number. So far, so good.
some reason, the tractor crashed again. I'm just thinking. I've got auto drive installed. I might put a better auto. Oh, install an auto drive map into the game and that might allow the worker to make it there and back in one piece so I will really quickly download and install that and I will see you once that's excuse me once that's done so I'll see you very soon welcome back from that very short break I've just installed the auto drive route and as you can see by all the white points that is a mark for each of the fields so that's all sorted one thing I do I don't know if you need to do it but one thing that I will I always do when using auto drive is I can't remember where it is. There, traffic. I always turn the traffic off. Personally, like I say, not sure if it needs to be done, but that's something that I will always do, just so that the um, vehicles don't have any issues there. Just have a quick check of the cattle while we're here. And they are. They're doing all right. We've still got plenty of um, of hay. They're six percent productive, but we've not had them that long, and they've already made five thousand liters of slurry, which is lovely to see. So, if we now set this to unload, the location is going to be field. 14 tractor weight and the unload point is let's, let's lower that. Oh, there we go, there they are. Um, I wonder where they all went then. It's cell points, garden centre. Turn that on and they should head over to field 14 tractor weight point which while they're driving, if I just jump back into here, field 14 tractor weight is here. So we will let them keep driving and we will jump back into here and we'll set this up the same way. Oops. Field 14 tractor weight, unload at selling points garden center turn that on and jump into the harvester and just set this to field 14 which then means that both of these have got tractor that they want so we'll just let we'll just let the tractor do what it wants to do we might as well while we're waiting fire everything up and this should mean that once the trailer is full they will just take themselves off and go and unload and come straight back Hopefully, anyway. So we will see how that works. That might fix all of the little issues we were having. Um, I do appreciate that this way isn't using the follow me mod. But I think in this episode, the issue we were having wasn't the follow me mod. It was the fact the tractor couldn't get around the tight corners with that big trailer. So we will try this. Oh. One thing I have just noticed is I will jump into this tractor for a second because they're entering the field from down the bottom, I believe. Yep. 
Yes, they are. There is a gateway here, so let's just quickly open that. And we'll just watch and check the tractor can actually get through the gateway. Hopefully they can. Oh, so close. So... the greatest at editing the courses but oops I will give it a quick um, no I'm not <laughs> I'm just all I'm going to do is back the tractor up and try and wriggle through like that and then we can restart let's try that I have no idea what this track, why this tractor likes doing circles is one of you going to come back to me I need a tractor, please. Right. We will crack on with this field. We might have to stop harvesting just to get them in and out of the field, but that's not a massive job, luckily. So I'll put this back into the time lapse and we will crack on with this field. So I will see you once we're nearly finished.
Welcome back. As you can see, the Massey tractor hasn't actually got very far because he wants to go this way. So, out of curiosity, I'm just going to have a quick look as to uh, where is he? He's down here. They are down here. Just going to have a quick look as to it's field for, uh, field 42 or land 42. See how much it would be to lease. That's only 600 a day. Hopefully. Ooh, has that not... Has that not worked? Um, do we have to actually have it? Aha! There we go. Let's get rid of the junk. There we go. So, let's push the tractor back with the gate. I might have to, yeah, we're going to have to just quickly <coughs> close the gate, jump into the tractor, get the tractor out of the way. Like so. Jump back out of the tractor, reopen the gate, go back into the tractor, and reactivate. And hopefully, you'll get caught on the gate. Right. I think, let me stop you. Let's get back out of the way. We will try it. There we go. So we can bring these over. Too much, okay. Let's try bringing them in a little bit more. We'll try that. Too much, okay. Let's actually get you back onto the path oh. okay we're getting somewhere it's gonna be a bit of trial and error I think unfortunately bring this much further back let's get these a bit further around so he turns just a tad earlier let's try that Too sharp a turn, okay. Oh, apparently there's uh, no collision there. Let's now try this. Let's bring that to here. So close. What can we? It's moving. It's just that trailer. Let's try. 
try for now because I need to get this. I want to get this field done. Let's just try and get through ourselves. Let's go tight. There we go. So we're through. So let's reactivate that and we can turn off these. So we will jump back into the forage harvester. Oops, so Daisy, let's go back. Oh, you can go through the hedge there, but you won't go through the hedge when you try to actually get out of the field, will you? Oof, these workers. But we have made good progress. We've already done 63% of the contract. So, I'm going to crack on with this. And... Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll crack on with this and I think we'll call it there for this episode. Um, we've made quite good progress. We will finish it off at the start of the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. It's uh, been, been a productive episode. We've figured out what went wrong in the last forage contract we did, we hope. Um, and we've made a really good start on this field. So as I say, thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, it would mean a lot if you would like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Um, and hopefully, if you have enjoyed it, we will see you back here for the next episode.